Hai Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Hafiz Faisal bin Muhammad Asri So my topic for today is The review on the characterization, cure characteristic and mechanical properties of pineapple leaf fiber field natural rubber composite Okay so a little bit background about my study Okay so the rubber based product have been used in the industry for a lot of reason including medical, automotive, construction and others the properties of rubber can be improved by introducing the short reinforcing rubber filler. Some benefits can be gained from this application including low cost, environmental protection, biodegradability and excellent mechanical properties. And one of the best natural fiber that can be used is pineapple leaf fiber which also known as PAF. So the problem arise in the study is the production of pineapple is very large and produce a lot of waste. And we know pineapple are harvested once a year on a large scale but people only consume the fruits and the other parts of the pineapple including the leaf will be wasted and this can be classified as agriculture waste that can contribute to the pollution of the environment and this study will help to create awareness and increase the use of puff in the industry and the waste from the pineapple can be reduced okay now let's move to the objective of the study firstly to determine the most suitable composition and pretreatment method in preparing pineapple leaf fiber. And second, to identify the suitable method to prepare and blend with rubber composites for pineapple leaf fiber. And third, to investigate the characterization of pineapple fiber reinforced composite using tensile test, hardness, and impact resistance test. Okay, last, to study the factor that will affect the mechanical and physical properties of pineapple leaf fiber reinforced rubber composite okay now i will introduce a little bit about natural fiber okay so the natural fiber is a renewable material that always available in nature and have the advantage of biodegradability low cost recyclability and have a very unique properties and a natural composite fiber not harmful to the skin and to the respiratory system and have more thermal and acoustic insulation compared to the glass fiber okay next what is pineapple leaf fiber as the enforced pillar pineapple leaf fiber known as puff was extracted from pineapple plant leaf it has smooth and shiny in color as linen medium long and extremely tensile fibers has a softer structure that absorb and sustaining a beautiful quality than most other natural fibers and it also has high basic rigidity and strength due to high cellulose content and it is hydrophilic in its shape. Okay now, let's go through more about pineapple leaf fiber. As you can see there, the plant is collected from the field and from the fruit, we will take uh, the leaf and from the leaf, we undergo several process then it will turn into the pineapple leaf fiber as you can see at D. Okay, so now I will share to you about the fiber modification. The chemical treatment tries to modify and enable the fiber structure by using a hydroxyl group and improving the material composition by introducing new components into the matrix. Okay, so the alkaline treatment has been chosen in this study. Okay, this is because alkaline treatment is one of the most effective chemical methods used for fiber modification. And the removal of lignin and hemicellulose from fiber will influence the chemical structure, molecular orientation, and polymerization of the fiber. Okay, and it is proven that alkaline treatment strengthens conformity because of its lower porosity and higher stiffness, resulting in stiffer composites. Okay, so there are three steps required for the sample preparation, which are wetting, drying, and the grinding. Okay, so first rating, it begins with the pressing of the pineapple leaf fiber called milling process to remove the water. And for the drying, the sample of puff need to be cleaned and with distilled water to remove the contaminant and it will place in the oven for uh, 2 hours in 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, so for the grinding, the process on the dried puff will be occurred to prepare the loose powder of puff with 25,000 RPM spinning speed grinder, the dry puff is grounded to break the dry puff into powder for 45 seconds. Okay, so now let's move to the pulpy method also known as the alkaline treatment. 
Okay, so the mixing of the sodium hydroxide with pineapple leaf fiber. It will cook the mixture for 2 hours with constant temperature at 80 degrees before it is left soaking for one night. And then, after the sample is took out from the beaker, it was filtered and put in the tray before it was left in the oven at 90 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. So, after the past sample is taken out from the oven, the sample was left for another 24 hours at room temperature before it can proceed to the next steps. And the puff sample is completely dry and no moisture left in the sample. Okay, so here is the ingredient needed for the mixture of the compound. Okay, firstly, we need a natural rubber and then we we'll, uh, need puff and silica as a filler and zinc oxide and stearic acid as activator and the co-activator agent and we need CBS and the sulfur for cross-leaking agent and the antioxidant to prevent the sample from oxidize. Without wasting any time, let's move to the test and the characterization. From one of the previous study of the cure characteristic shows that the addition of 10 PHR of puff to the rubber increased the maximum torch which is 6.54. When the 15 PHR of puff is added to the rubber, it caused the maximum torch go even higher, which is 6.84. But when the 20 PHR of puff is tested, the maximum torch remain virtually the same at 6.84. And when 20 PHR is tested, which is even higher, the maximum torch increase to the 7.37. Therefore, the addition of puff cause the increasing of the maximum torch although it is not linear. Okay, now let's move to the tensile properties test which is one of the most important in this study. The effect of puff to the rubber can clearly be seen. The value of modulus in the table seems to rise significantly with the increase of the puff content. Okay. Based on the previous result of the study on the different loading of puff, we can see that the tensile strength range increased from 125 to 1627 and the young modulus range also increased from 34.5 GPA to 82.51 GPA and the elongation at break also increased from 0.8% to 4%. For the hardness test, both of the researchers from the table shows that they managed to reach the highest value which is 80 as the value or the loading of the puff increased. Okay, so for the impact strength, we can see that uh, if we use a lower value of puff, it can reach up to 25 joule per meter square. But if we increase the loading of the puff, we can go much more from the 25 up to 30 joule per meter. And that is the average value of the impact strength when we use puff as the composite fiber. For the conclusion, by conducting the pulping method, all of the fiber were fully separated from each other and the sample were easily been collected. This method were carried out multiple times since the desired quantity of the fiber were insufficient after the process finished one. The study of cure characteristic had successful and the result have been observed where it showed the maximum torch time increase gradually as the loading of puff increase. The study including tensile strength, hardness and impact resistance testing had been conducted and the result was observed. The tensile strength was divided into three parts which are stress strain, young modulus and elongation at break. The stress seemed fail at lower strain but it continued to deform as the strain was increased. The stiffness of the sample kept getting high as the loading of the sample of puff increased. And also, the hardness and the impact resistance study had been conducted and the results seemed improved when the puff was added with the rubber. As a recommendation, I would like to suggest the bleaching method is conducted after the pulping method was done. And Higher loading of puff also need to be studied to find the most optimal volume of puff content for the natural rubber reach the best performance.